You're not born. You're laid. Yeah, like a chicken. You're inside a leathery little egg, buried in a dirt tunnel. Your mom is sitting on you, sweating it out in a swampy cave like she's brooding a weird omelet. Because you're a monotreme, a mammal that lays eggs. After about ten days, your egg softens up like overripe fruit, and boom, you crack out, blind, bald, and the size of a peanut. You've got no teeth, no fur, no clue, just vibes. Milk time without nipples. So you're hungry. No problem, your mom's got milk. But here's the plot twist. She doesn't have nipples. You get your nutrition by licking milk off her sweaty skin folds like some kind of dairy-sniffing gremlin. For the next three to four months, this is your life. You're still blind. You've still got no teeth. But now you're getting fur and finally starting to look less like a science accident and more like, okay, a smaller science accident. Learning to hunt with your face. Fast forward. You're off milk. You can finally open your eyes. Welcome to the surface. It's swampy. It smells like wet moss and sadness. And it's your job now to survive. Your bill? It's not just for decoration. It's a freaking superpower. Underwater, you close your eyes, ears, and nose, and use electroreception to literally sense the electrical signals of moving prey. You're like a living metal detector, except your prize is a soggy worm. You start practicing. Digging in mud, finding shrimp, snapping up insect larvae. You also start realizing your tail is kind of a fat battery. It stores energy like a built-in lunchbox. You're getting good at the water ninja life. But don't relax yet. The older platypuses are territorial jerks and will literally beat you up over a pond. Puberty hits and you grow weapons. Puberty hits like a platypus slap. Your fur thickens. Your voice doesn't really change because you don't make much noise, but your attitude? Way more aggressive. And if you're a male? You just unlocked your bonus weapon, Venom Spurs. On your hind legs, you now have two little ankle daggers that can inject actual venom, strong enough to paralyze small animals and make full-grown humans scream for hours. No joke. It's not fatal to people, but it hurts more than heartbreak. Adulthood, you're a solo weirdo now. You don't do packs. You don't do families. You live alone, in a personal swamp bunker that you dig with your weirdly strong claws. You're a silent, swimming gremlin with a poisonous foot and a sixth sense for shrimp. Your daily routine? To swim quietly for hours, hunt for crustaceans using Electro Ninja powers. You avoid snakes, foxes, eels, owls, and annoyed crocodiles. Eat your body weight in bugs, worms, and regret. Also, you can glow under UV light. Scientists only found this out recently. No one knows why. It doesn't help you hunt. It doesn't help you mate. You just glow in purple light. Because of course you do. Mating season. Time to get rejected. It's mating season. Time to awkwardly locate a female. No singing. No dancing. Just chase, tackle, and spin in the water like it's a National Geographic wrestling mash. The female decides if you're worthy. Most of the time, she's like, nah, and leaves. If she's interested, she builds her own nesting tunnel, lays eggs, raises the kids, and kicks you out of the entire storyline. Congrats. You're a deadbeat dad. That's normal here. You go back to your solo pond life like nothing happened. You don't raise your kids. You probably never even meet them. Getting old, still a mystery. Platypuses can live up to 17 years in the wild. But the problem? We barely know what aging looks like in you because you're reclusive and nocturnal, and most researchers are too tired to follow a glowing water gremlin through the swamps for two decades. But here's what we think. You slow down. You hunt less efficiently. You might lose dominance if you're male, and your venom game weakens. And you probably just quietly disappear into your burrow one day, tail thinner, for duller, Done with the nonsense. There's no dramatic ending. No pack howling for your loss. Just silence, mud, and the slow return of your molecules to the Australian bush. You were nature's funniest glitch. You laid eggs but make milk. You didn't have a stomach. Your esophagus goes straight to your intestines. You were electrosensitive, venomous, glow in UV, and somehow still adorable. You have been confusing biologists since 1799, when Europeans first saw you and thought you were a taxidermy prank. You're not just weird. You're elite weird. You're an animal that's so broken, 
it came back around to being a masterpiece. So yeah, you're a platypus. And honestly, there's nothing else like you. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like these. I'll see you in the next one.